I'm Owen from the Brick Wolves. For our project this season, we focused on lowering carbon emissions and spreading awareness about climate change with the SC3, which is a curriculum that we wrote that educates passionate youth about climate change in the construction industry. We have been working on our project since the summer, and it was a large part in our team winning the Eastern Massachusetts State Championships and being invited to the World Festival in Detroit. However, since the World Festivals were canceled due to COVID-19, we aren't going to be able to present our project to the judges there. Despite this, we all agreed that sharing our project was still very important to us, so everyone recorded their lines to our project presentation that we were preparing for Worlds, and we edited them all together into this video. In September, our team went to the climate strike in Boston. Listening to the speakers present and the people around us, we realized that though they were passionate about the climate, they lacked the specific knowledge they needed to make effective change. Youth tend to focus on the classic images of climate change, such as big factories or inefficient transportation, when in reality, these aren't the biggest issues facing the climate. The construction industry on its own is responsible for 40% of all greenhouse gas emissions annually, and yet no one at the climate strike talked about it at all. Unless youth know specifically what they are talking about, they will never be listened to. Our solution to this problem is the Student Carbon Calculator Curriculum, or the SC3 for short. The SC3 is a curriculum that empowers students with the vocabulary, knowledge, terms, and facts about the environmental impact of the construction industry by taking them through a case study of their school building and the courses of action they can take. To analyze this problem and further develop our solution, we talked to multiple experts, including Tim Locke, a lead architect at a firm called Opal, which specializes in constructing extremely efficient buildings. From him, we learned that one of the biggest problems facing our climate is embodied carbon. Embodied carbon is the carbon released in the harvesting, manufacturing, construction, and disposal of materials used in a building. After further research, we learned that embodied carbon accounts for 20% of all greenhouse gases, yet no one knows about it or talks about it. We then brainstormed with another architect, Craig Douglas, about ways that we could educate youth about embodied carbon. Through talking with him, we came up with the idea of creating an online web form that calculates the embodied carbon of a school building. We focused on school buildings to make the problem more relatable and understandable for students. To create the Student Carbon Calculator, or SEC, we talked with Suzanne Stroll Cooper, a professional web developer who taught us how to use the open source platform Drupal 8, which we used to code the SEC ourselves. The SEC is now fully available for anyone to use as part of a class or simply to educate themselves. We then worked with Sam Hoyo, the Director of Sciences in the Arlington, Massachusetts School System, and Montana, a principal in Arlington. Based on these experts' feedback, we wrote many iterations of a 30-day curriculum focused on carbon emissions impact of the construction industry. Our curriculum uses in a space around the SEC and follows a project-based learning template that is aligned with Massachusetts Common Core State Standards. After winning our state tournament, Andrew Himes, a former Microsoft executive and the current program specialist at the Carbon Leadership Forum, or CLF, reached out to us because he wanted to help us further develop our curriculum. The CLF of the University of Washington is an industry academic collaboration whose primary focus is expanding the awareness of embodied carbon through creating tools to measure it. Andrew was truly interested in our project and said we are the only people in the world who are working on educating youth about embodied carbon. We wanted to go beyond just sharing our curriculum to actually implementing it. Since our team is run by our school, we worked with an eighth grade science teacher to run a version of our curriculum in February. We we're even able to teach some of the classes ourselves. After running the curriculum, the teachers and students gave us constructive feedback about changes that should be made to the SC3, and we have since implemented some of these changes. After running the curriculum at our school, we got in touch with Christine DeFrancisco, the principal of Gibbs Elementary School, to try to run her school. She invited us to meet with members of her faculty, which we presented our curriculum to, to possibly implement into their school. We got to present our curriculum to two sixth grade science teachers at the Gibbs School with Mike Hanna and Christine DeFranco present. They were very engaged and impressed with our curriculum and were especially excited that we were using a project-based learning format. Both teachers were interested in trying to implement our curriculum into their final trimester and potentially continuing to run it in the years to come. However, due to schools being closed due to COVID-19, we haven't been able to make any of these a reality, but we hope to meet again with them in the fall. 
After implementing our curriculum at our school, presenting it to teachers at the Gibbs School and trying to implement it there, and posting it on the CLF website, we have since shared our project with Sean Caston, the representative for the 6th Congressional District of Illinois, who sits on the Select Committee of Climate Crisis and the Subcommittee of Environment. By sharing it with him, we hope to spread our curriculum on a national level. In developing our project, we have used many different methods of research, such as interviewing experts and finding and reading articles. We also learned a coding language to write our calculator. We learned how to write a day-by-day -day curriculum aligned with Massachusetts Common Core State Standards. We are proud that our project is the very first curriculum that teaches students about embodied carbon, and we are proud that every single member of our team played an integral role in the development and implementation of our curriculum. This started out just as an FLL project, but has become something that we will continue to refine and improve in the years to come. Our project, the SC3, is directly impacting and will continue to impact the world in a positive way. It is giving passion youth the tools they need to be respected, to be listened to, and to change our future for the better. Even though our season may have been cut short, we are still focused on our mission to spread the word about embodied carbon. Recently, we have been talking with Andrew Himes, a program specialist at the CLF, Stacy Smedley, the Director of Environment at Skanska, over Zoom conferences to get to work on our calculator and curriculum. We have worked very hard to get to the point we are at right now and will not stop until our curriculum and calculator are available all over the world and will make positive change.